So the amount of times I thought to myself that my niche is saturated, it's the end of my social media marketing agency, everyone's hopping into my niche, I should probably switch to something else, right? I remember I had a pretty bad month at my agency at one point where I wasn't able to book any meetings, uh, my clients were dropping out, and I kind of thought that my niche is the problem. Having just one single bad month in the agency triggered a shiny object syndrome, but I'm glad I didn't hop into a different niche and I've stuck with my industry and I made it work. Because if I just hopped into a different niche when I just had one single bad month, that would have been a huge mistake and I'll tell you why later on. When you run an agency or any type of business, whatever it is that you do, it is normal for you to think that the grass is greener on the other side, especially when that is paired up with social media, you see someone else doing better than you and you instantly have the urge to go ahead and try copy them or do the same thing as they do in hopes that you can attain the same success that you see them portray on social media. Like for example, if you're on YouTube and you're watching videos and people are saying, this is the new niche that could get you to 10K per month, or this strategy has got me to 10K per month. It's very easy to think about your current place right now, and then to think about the place that you could be at, and then thinking that whatever this new niche or strategy is that is working for someone else, you think that it will work for you if you apply it. Well, I'm here to tell you, just don't do it. Don't give in, just stick to your thing, don't jump niches. And I'm going to explain why you shouldn't do that now. First thing you should understand is persistence. You know that meme with a guy looking for diamonds and he quits just as he was about to hit those diamonds and then he quits and someone else on top of him. I'll, I'll pull it up right now on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. This is what the shiny object syndrome does. It stops you from finally being able to hit gold. So being able to stay persistent with whatever it is that you're currently doing is probably one of the most important skills that you can adopt and develop this year, next year, or how many years you are in business because you're always going to be a victim of thinking the grass is greener on the other side and having urges to go ahead, quit everything you're doing now because it hasn't been working out for you for some time and you think something else will help you. Maybe you were losing clients, maybe you weren't able to book as many appointments, maybe you're just tired and overworked and nothing seems to be going in the right direction. And all I can say to that is, so what? Unless the business model hasn't been proven before, like the actual business model or business strategy hasn't been proven before, then there's no reason for you to go ahead and try something else. So the SMMA model or the coaching model has been proven to work by thousands and millions of other people out there, unless you're an e-commerce agency, but that's a whole different video. If it has been proven before, then you just need to stay persistent to make it work for your scenario. If you know what you're doing and what objectives you need to achieve, then just put your head down and continue doing that. Don't look at everyone else, I suggest you maybe stop watching YouTube or spending some time around social media because those are the biggest triggers to the shiny object syndrome. My second point is if you're thinking that your niche is saturated or whatever it is you're doing is saturated, then I suggest you just simply just expand your time horizon for achieving your goals. The reason why we want to jump niches is because we want to quickly get to our goals and attain the lifestyle that we want as quickly as possible. It's all natural. You see, when we place a goal for ourselves, our brains will find the fastest ways, the easiest ways to get there. Sometimes it can even trick you to make decisions that are could be bad for you. They haven't been made on logic, but rather the emotions associated with you attaining that goal. So for example, if you have been like, let's say in a dental niche for like two, three months, but it hasn't really been working as well as you thought it would be. And right now you're thinking of jumping into like real estate or something else. That is simply your brain tricking you, thinking that, okay, this holy grail niche is going to get me to 10K per month faster and easier 
and I see someone else doing it, so I might as well jump to that niche. We need to learn how to ignore that and how to ignore our brains, our emotions tricking us. And the way you do it, one simple trick is just expand your time horizon. Instead of trying to hit 10K per month in like two months or three months, instead set a goal to hit 10K per month in a year, maybe a year and a half or two years. And you will see that you will instantly stop trying to rush your goals because you've removed the pressure of achieving that goal in the smallest time possible. And when our brain deals with pressure, it's trying to find the best ways to essentially get to that goal the fast, in the fastest way possible, the easiest way possible. But when you expand your time horizon and tell yourself that I wanna hit 10K per month in a year or two, you're removing that pressure. Hence, you are going to make better decisions. So my third point is, when should you actually switch or jump niches? So let's say it has been like a year or two of you working on your business and nothing seems to be working out. You're not getting appointments, you're not signing any clients and you just don't see the progress. If that's the case, then yes, you can switch and try something else because you've put in the right amount of time to make something work. And if it doesn't work, then you would just simply be running around in circles trying to make it work. So the three questions that you need to ask yourself before you decide to switch is, have I been consistent with my outreach every single day for months and months and months? Have I signed any clients from this? Because if you signed even one or two clients, that gives you enough proof of concept that this thing that you're doing is working out. Hence, you should continue doing it and just figure out a way on how you can sign more clients or get more appointments. And the last question forces you to be honest with yourself. And that is, have I done everything that I could to make this work? If your answer is no to these three questions, then don't switch because the niche is not the problem. In this case, the problem is you. But let's say you've been consistent with your outreach, but you haven't been able to sign any clients and you've actually put in all the work to make this work, but nothing seems to work, then yeah, you can go ahead and switch your niche. You only need to switch to a different niche when you've been at it for one or two years and nothing seems to be working out for you. And the reason for that is switching niches is actually harder than sticking to your current niche. It's basically like starting a new business, having new SOPs, having new methods, having new systems, having new strategies. Everything is completely new and you essentially start from zero. And then let's say you switch niches and two, three months later, that doesn't work. You switch to something else and else and else, and you just end up running in circles, chasing your own sale, trying to make everything work, but nothing works. So I hope this video can help you understand that when you think a niche is saturated, that is more likely to be just in your head. Unless you have given it enough time stayed consistent and actually put in all the work for one or two years, then there's no reason for you to switch. Rather, you should evolve and adapt your current service, your current strategies to adapt to the environment, which is the market. 